CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is with us. He is a, he is a physics professor at the City University of New York. Good morning. Morning. Tell us exactly what this is. Well, Superstorm Nori packs more energy than Hurricane Sandy. It's headed our way, and we are in the bullseye. This weekend, it's going to plow into Alaska, creating 50-foot waves. Then by midweek, all hell breaks loose. It's going to collide with the jet stream, pushing Arctic air all the way down, perhaps as low as Florida. Now, remember the polar vortex of last year? Yes. This is different. There's a name for this. It's called bombogenesis. That's geek talk for when pressures <laughs> suddenly drop, when you have hot air, cold air colliding, like what we're going to see over Canada and the American Midwest, plunging temperatures perhaps three degrees below normal. Wow. wow. So what are the best and worst case scenarios? Well, in the best case scenario, it simply means take out your rubber boots and mufflers and, and just hunker down. In a worst case scenario, it could mean a deep freeze. It means airlines uh, canceling flights left and right. It means transportation uh, being disrupted, train schedules being disrupt disrupted, people's schedules uh, being thrown in kilter. So we're talking about a massive disruption which will peak around November 13th to November 15th, but ripple through the rest of November. Wow. Mm. How long are we thinking this is going to last? You said through through the rest of the month and into December? Well, it peaks uh, mid-week next week, so expect several days of pretty miserable weather. But then ripples, ripples will probably be with us for the, the end of the month. So does that mean that our winter's gonna be horrific and we should just hide now? <laughs> right. Well, it means we're going to have another quote episode of the polar vortex and, you know, get used to it because the earth is changing and it means that on average we're going to see more violent swings. All right, Professor Kaku with the bombogenesis. Did right. I say it right? Okay. Nicely done. Thank you.